Whoa, 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 hold up. Are you tired of being complete trash at video games? Do you have really bad aim in whatever game you play? Where the- Where the- Bro! Aim left! Save! Aim left! You're so bad! Have you seen those insane clips on Twitch and thought to yourself, Damn, I wish I was that good. I can't relate. I'm pretty much the best Valorant player I know. Oh, ace, ace, ace. But for those of you that can relate, I have devised a solution. For games such as Valorant and Apex Legends, you need a multitude of skills. Teamwork, communication, strategy, researching cringe lineups. But most importantly, you need a positive mindset. People say that esports aren't real sports, but I tell them they're wrong. You build character and become a player for the team, supporting others and helping each other grow and improve which is what makes esports so beautiful. And when I look at my progression in Valorant, going from one of the worst all the way to one of the best players in the country, I look at the skills I have acquired that will contribute to my success in other fields in life. Exactly zero. You don't need any of that to become the best. You just need good aim. Like, look at all the good players. You think they use their brain, huh? Yeah, so much brain. So much brain being used here. Oh wow, so much brain. What a carefully planned out strategy. Yeah, no. In these types of games, all you need is aim. Sometimes I ask people what their sensitivity is, and it is terrible, awful. I have no idea how you made it that far with that sensitivity, which is why I have developed the ultimate solution to help us collectively become less trash at video games. I want to make a base for an aim trainer that helps people find their ideal sensitivity. The idea is simple. Input your current sensitivity, play around in the aim trainer a bit, and it will calibrate your sensitivity based on how far you overshoot or undershoot. And after a short session, you should have your ideal sensitivity. Now, the first step is to make an aim trainer. Done. The second step is to make sure that valent sensitivity translates directly to my aim trainer. Uh, I don't know how to do that. The simplest way I can think of is see what sensitivity counts as a full spin in Valorant and translate that directly into the aim trainer. But that like sounds really stupid. Alright guys, we're um on Valorant and my sensitivity is 0 0.6. So what I have here is my super light and a ruler from Staples. And we will see how many inches of movement does it take to make a full turn. So I will move this. Okay, that's about good for a full turn. And it turns out that it takes 11.75 inches to make a full turn with 0 0.6 cents. And just like that, we have an aim trainer. Just enter your sense and go. After doing it for a little bit, if you look in the bottom left, my sensitivity went from 0.31 to about 0.30, so a 0.01 difference. Okay, now that we're in Valorant, let's just change our sense and hop into a deathmatch, see if it makes a difference. Wow, what a cool montage that was, right? Very cool. Well, unfortunately, my aim was already pretty decent, so that didn't help me that much, but maybe it'll help you, who knows? Link to the aim trainers in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.